You know, I prophesy over people all the time, and sometimes I can see them look at me like, yeah, right. Well, if you don't believe it, you ain't going to receive it, right? But so sometimes God will speak to us in our dreams to get our attention in a way that's undeniable because we won't listen any other way. And when we go on these treasure hunts, we can, we can, we can turn up revelations that, that convince us it could only be God speaking. He'll use it sometimes as confirmation. I had a, another baby dream. I have a lot, have had a lot of baby dreams. That's why I have so many ministries and so many facets because I've birthed all these things over the last 20 something years. But I had another baby dream and in this dream, I too was not happy. Is God calling? I was pregnant in this dream and I'm like, oh boy, here we go again in my dream. I mean, you got to be kidding me. And I was, I was there, I was working, I was very pregnant, and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Again, all right, in the dream. And I was not happy. And, and I had to change my desk. I had to, you know, get a different chair. I had to change the, the, the size of the desk. I had to change all, the, all these changes I was having to make. Again, you're going to birth something, you have to make changes. All these changes. And then I went to the doctor. The doctor said, oh, we have to change your diet. And I'm like, what's wrong with my diet? He's like, you have to change your diet. He said, I want you to eat eggs with pepperoni on them. <laughs> this is my dream. I want you to eat eggs. And I said, that doesn't sound healthy. Why would I eat that? Eggs with pepperoni. He's like, no, you have to eat eggs with pepperoni every day. That's what you need right now. And I'm like, okay. So I woke up from the dream and I could not shake that part. Eggs with pepperoni. I said, what does that mean? I don't like pepperoni. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. And so I shared my dream with a friend. And I'm like, this is the craziest dream. I'm pregnant. I know that God's going to burst something. I understand he's doing something new. I understand there's going to be a lot of change. I got all that. But I said, one part of this dream makes no sense to me. The Lord told me in the dream, the Lord show me I needed to eat eggs with pepperoni she goes oh wow that's awesome she says I grew up and my mom made eggs with pepperoni every week and I'm like okay that's nasty <laughs> but the whole point is is that she needed my friend I told the dream to she needed to bear witness to the rest of the message of the Lord in the dream about the new thing, the birthing, and the changes I was going to have to make in the ministry to accommodate what God wanted to do. She needed to buy in to what the message of the Lord was through the dream, so God tucked this little detail in the dream that meant nothing to me, but meant everything from her. So she believed all the whole rest of the dream because of the pepperoni and the eggs. Isn't that crazy? And I normally don't share my dreams with a lot of people, but I shared this with her. I felt led to share it with her, and it meant the world to her. And that way she bought into it. She got on board with it. Otherwise, I would have been having resistance within the ministry, right? People not agreeing with what I, you know, believe me. We don't have that problem anymore, you know. But many times as a leader, if you can't get the buy-in of your people, then you ain't going barely nowhere because you can't do it alone, right? We, we don't have that problem anymore. We have such great unity here.